What's going on, guys? John here with another episode of Patriots Franchise. And if you remember last episode, we played a crazy game against the Commanders in which Jalen Waddell put up 211 yards and two touchdowns. As I believe with that game, he did become our passing leader, or our receiving leader. In which, yes, he did a lot by Ramondre Stevenson. Uh, Jamison Williams is going to probably catch Anthony Dorsey. Kyle Terry is right behind Jameson Williams. So actually pretty impressive, like all around team effort. English is hard. And Hendon Hooker is halfway to passing Josh Hales. Will Hales come back before then? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I did want to make a couple more uh just adjustments with the league. Obviously I'm running a lot of the same plays and I don't like that, so I'm gonna First, I'm going to move the play clock time down to 15 seconds and then raise this up. We'll try 10-minute quarters for this game, and we'll see how it is. Offensive play call cooldown, two plays, and then a limit of three times called. That way, I can't just keep running the same plays. So we're just going to stick with only the play call change as our challenge for our changing the sliders. Um, but now we've got a bye week, and... If you watched last uh, last time we had a bye week, we just do stay grinding to get that bonus XP. 500 XP for everyone. They lose stamina, but whatever. And we will just sim right to next week. Eh, wait, no, we'll do the weekly strategy just so we can get the extra XP. I'm not going to play any of the mini games, But obviously, if you did watch the end of last episode, we made a huge trade. In which we got Jordan Mylotta at the trade deadline from the Eagles. Trade away Jonah Williams. He's gone. I don't remember who else we traded away. I might need to check that. And we do have a tandem breakout on offense. I'm guessing it's Jamison Williams. And we're gonna see Kyle Terry. Wow. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna challenge Kyle Terry. He's probably not gonna get it. Um. Waddle gets it. 150 receiving yards for Kyle Terry? Oh boy, that's not likely. But hey, who knows? I've been shocked before. But before we go through training, I'll let you guys look at the team. Um, Yeah, Hendon Hooker's our starting quarterback right now. Trey Lance is a backup. Kyle Terry is actually our number two wide receiver, passing J-Mo. Uh, but yeah, we moved Buchanan the center to right guard. Beekman from left tackle to center. Anwenu from right tackle to left tackle, and Mylotta from left tackle to right tackle. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this does. Terry as our number two wide receiver is interesting. I think he's still going to be in the slot, though. Yeah, he will be in the slot. But that means he'll be on some of the, on all of our two wide receiver sets instead of uh, JMO. Which is, I'm completely fine with. But I think having this four receiver set once Dorsey comes back of... Waddle, Terry, Dorsey, and JMO might actually be really good. Hopefully we can like rotate him in a lot. We're facing Joe Burrow. We're doing short pass, outside runs, and yeah, I'll catch you after we do these mini games. All right, so we get gold on all six players, and this will be a real test to see if we need to make it harder for me, I guess, because we're taking on one of the top teams in the league, uh, Buffalo Bengals. Oh, wow, great. Two of our biggest receivers are injured, Jalen Waddle and Jamison Williams, meaning we are down to four receivers. Yay. Um, Yeah, so those are the only two injuries, but we're taking on a very good Bengals team, so we're going to see how this works. We are down to uh, Kyle Terry, Demario Douglas, Tyquan Thornton, and Kevante Turpin, though. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh... Jordan Davis, we're going to give you Speed Rusher. I guess I can look. Oh, we have Robert Woods. That's right. We also have Robert Woods. <sighs> oh, gosh. We are in so much trouble. Four block shedding for Chris Wade. But Larry Shelton will give him pass protector because he's not been able to defend the pass. I feel like, I feel like you guys are going to see a lot of Ramondre Stevenson. Just going to be completely honest. Is there going to be any... There's not going to be a 
storyline for it. So Cincinnati Bengals, 85 overall compared to our 84 overall, but a bunch of our players are out. So here we go. In Foxborough, who are you going to show for the start opening intro? It's Hendon Hooker and Joe Burrow. And the There's Mixon, Jamar Chase, it's the Hooker again, Stevenson, next. Kyle Terry. He gets the intro. Intro, uh, what's it called? That's hilarious. They're going to kick it deep to us. Remember, we're trying 10-minute quarters. We're going to see how those work. This might be a super high-scoring affair. I did lower the play clock, though, so it'll drop a lot lower. Turpin's not going to return it. We're going to head to the 25 to start it off. Last game, Hendon Hooker had a pretty good game, but he's going to have to try to be a lot better since he is down a bunch of his top targets. Yeah, Kyle Terry is his top target right now. He'll, he'll be in the slot. Douglas and Thornton will be on the outside. But it's going to be Kyle Terry a lot. As Yeah, you're going to see all of our injuries. Waddle out for the game. Thomas out for the season. Dorsey on IR. Davis on IR. They should be coming back soon, though. I don't know if they'll let me bring him back, though. That's the thing. Because the IR thing is really confusing. I'm really going to hope that I can bring him off IR. Running it with Stevenson. And Stevenson gets another, what, uh, 11 yards? You got to try to get just get in any games. There's Kyle Terry. Huge gain. He gets a block from Thornton. And the big man goes for 30. Six foot eight. And a menace. But 30 yards as we're going empty backfield for Hooker. Hooker just gets it away. Great. Oh, it's Hendon Hooker's hurt. Oh, my gosh. And now we're going to be down to Trey Lance. Hooker's getting rocked off the field. Oh, my gosh. Stevenson's going to have to carry now because it's Trey Lance season. Dislocated wrist out for the game. Come on. Dude, another injured quarterback. Handing off to Stevenson, and he gets another first. Ramondre's going to have a big game. I can already feel it. All right. First and 10 from the 12. Lance takes a snap, and he's already getting snapped. It's Mike on Wenu as Windows Security is talking to me. So second and 24. We're going deep for Demario Douglas, incomplete out to the back of the end zone. Lance missed it. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know what play call to run. What is this? All right, this is probably not going to work. No, Thornton on a slant to the right side. We're just going to check it down underneath the Bolo. He can gain 13, but obviously nowhere near the first as Owen Foster comes in to kick the extra point. Or, oh, why do I keep doing that? Kick the field goal, and we go up 3-0 on Bengals. And we're already down our starter, starting quarterback. And if Trey Lance goes down, we've got a 63 overall quarterback. I do think, I mean, I, I see a lot of, I've looked up sliders that like could work good for for these kind of series. And I've seen ones where they bump up the injuries, which is crazy to think about. Because we, we had three of our star players get out the game. It was Thomas in a week, and then the next week we had three more get out. And this isn't even talking about practice injuries. As, oh my gosh, Joe Burrow, 16 touchdowns, three interceptions. I think he's a 99. I guess we might as well check. Is Joe Burrow a 99? Yes, Joe Burrow's a 99. Joe Mixon's an 85. Chase is a 99. Higgins is an 89. Boyd is an 82. 
Spencer Barrett is the other tight end I was looking for in the draft. It's a 76, which is what overall um, our boy Jeremiah Bullo is. As they're going to do a counter run. And Mixon, good run. Alex Kappa injured on the first play. That's their starting center. But we don't have any down linemen to actually put any pressure on him. Oh, dude. Burrow throws it underneath. I think that's Amari Reynolds who makes the tackle. Nope, Steven Nelson. Why is Steven Nelson on the field? I don't know. It's Wham. You know, that's that's what... Oh, Joe Mixon's hurt now. Jeez. But that's that's why Jordan Davis is important. As, yeah, Mixon's getting ran off to the sideline. Jordan Davis is important there because he'll be the one to, you know... Is there's Tyler Boyd. Jordan Davis will blow up those inside run plays that Joe Mixon would have just done, and he would have been able to stop them from eating the first. So... As Chase Brown, I believe, is the running back in the backfield. Oh, Chris Wade, what are you doing? Chase Brown's got massive speed. He's gone. Bengals take the lead. Ramondre is 68 yards away from 1,000 on the year. So that's actually impressive. Ramondre is doing pretty good, even though we're spreading the ball around a lot. Ramondre is really the only star that hasn't gotten hurt, so that's one reason why. Oh, Kyle Terry made a tested catch over the hands of the defender, and that's really why we have him. He's a big body. I mean, we drafted him because he was a Heisman. We just thought that was a cool storyline, but hey. We also get the big body. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Logan Wilson has inside stuff as a linebacker. That doesn't... I don't like that. We're running a screen with Ramondre. Hopefully Lance can hit him. Lance does hit him. He's out racing Logan Wilson and good grab by Ramondre. Second and 11, or no, second and 10. That was the completion. I don't know why it'd be second and 11. Demario Douglas makes the catch, gain six. That steady gain is what we need. We're putting on mesh spot, but I think we're going to run it. Oh, but Logan Wilson's there. Can I go back to the original play call? Reset play. Yep, there we go. Firing sideline, Noah Gray, incomplete. And I, I feel like we're in fourth down. Go for it range. I'm going to. I don't trust my team to do anything defensively. So. Demario Douglas doesn't turn for the ball, and it bounces off his head, and the Bengals get the ball back. Now I got to play beautiful defense. Higgins makes a huge catch, and obviously we're not going to be able to tackle. So whether it's my user trying to tackle and just missing because I'm bad, or it's them breaking the tackles, don't matter. Chase Brown gains five more. And now we got a defensive lineman in cover. Oh, it's Jim. That's the only lineman. Or linebacker, I'm really fine with completely in coverage. Huge uh, tackle by Chris Stanley. And they're going to end the first quarter probably with a touchdown on this play or the next play. I, f I feel like we can stop him once. What a knockout by Chris Stanley. That should have probably been a pick by Christian Gonzalez, but... Stanley knocked it out. So first and, or second and goal from the six. And Duggar gets blocked. It's a touchdown for Chase Brown. So fresh off of our turnover, Lance and this offense are trying to get anything going, man. Please. Oh, what a play by Stevenson. Stevenson made a second man miss and will take us to the end of the first with another first down run. So, uh, not a first down, short. But, yeah, they've been out rushing us. We've been out passing them. Maybe because we've been passing the ball more, but... I mean, I feel like we, we could put up stats that we should be able to beat them with, but we just can't. 
Ramondre's got his X Factor. So we know what we're doing. Ramondre, big play. Runs a man over. And Ramondre with his X Factor is just overpowered. So we're probably going to abuse that. They're running left. We've got blockers to the left side. That's why we're doing it. And Ramondre is not going to be able to break the tackle because he got hit by two people. But still four yards. As Ramondre to the backfield could be scary here, but I don't know if I trust anything. Except for Jeremiah Bolo. Oh my gosh. Trey Lance, is that... Can my quarterbacks not complete that throw? That is something I can complete. And you can't complete that? There's no no pressure. And you're missing that. Yeah. Ramondre is getting absolutely mugged. I can't do anything there. Now we're going to have to punt it again. We're going with backspin on the ball. There's their beautiful blocks. What? That's not that much backspin. Oh my gosh. The ball bounces 20 or 10, 15 yards backwards. Oh boy. Burrow and Chase have their X factors enabled because of their momentum ability. Oh, and they're breaking tackles. Barrett is insane. What's Burrow's ability? Truz? He's not going to fumble? Higgins, another good completion. I think we're going to do match. I think match has been working better. That keeps the receivers running with the, or defenders running with them. Probably going to be a run. Nope. Okay. Higgins is going to torch us all day. All day. And we're screwed. Cut that part out, by the way. Higgins is going to have a touchdown. here in the second quarter can they use that ground game maybe to work the all right Lance we're gonna run left with Ramondre that's not a tackle or a broken tackle but whatever did they go low all right we got some streaks going on no, no one's gonna torch their man we're going deep for Taekwon Thornton can't catch it Chidobe Awuzie is going to shove Taekwon Thornton. And nothing's going to be called because they, I don't know why they put those animations in and don't call penalties on Because that'd be fun if they had like unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. There's Ramondre on the sideline for a first. Lance finally completes one of those check down passes. Ramondre has 21 yards receiving. Going for Ramondre deep again. First down. Back to back completions to Ramondre Stevenson. And no, I'm not running that stupid screenplay. Scared of that one. Three tight end set. We're going to throw it to the one wide receiver on the field. And he gets absolutely smacked. I wouldn't be too happy either if all my if all my team's receivers just decided to die, as we don't have read option anymore. That play has been locked. Here's the run with Ramondre, and Stevenson's gonna have a touchdown. A beautiful block by Jeremiah Bolo downfield. I believe that was him. It might have been Noah Gray. I, I want to check that because that was a great block. It was Noah Gray. No great pushed Awuzie to the outside. I think that was Awuzie. Yeah, pushed Awuzie to the outside and then blocked Dax Hill. Or who is that? I can't even read that. Yeast. Russ Yeast. To give us a touchdown. So we finally scored a touchdown. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. 
Burrow throws a bad pass, but it's still caught. Of course. All right, we're doing man coverage. Watch Cordell Joe get absolutely mossed. We should probably be double teaming Chase. He's just, they're throwing check downs the entire time. But as soon as I, watch, I'm going to go for a pass. I'm going to go pinch. We're bringing everyone closer. And I'm going to go deep for one play. And it's going to be a 99-yard touchdown. Oh, the tight end drops it. Colby Parkinson. And they're going to punt. They're probably going to fake it. Turpin back to return. Stanley almost got a block there. And we got to get something going. We got to keep this momentum. Ramondre seven yards from a thousand. I believe he leads the league in rushing yards. Oh, Jeremiah Polo, beautiful block for Trey Lance, and Trey Lance runs for 19. I just can't have Trey Lance getting hurt, because that would be bad. If Trey Lance gets hurt, the game is over, because I don't even know the name of my third-string quarterback. Kyle Terry just mossed Russ Yeast. What a catch. And Terry has 62 yards in the first half. Robert Woods is on the field. Lance tiptoes down the sideline in another first down run. It's first and 10 from the 10. So somehow we didn't get a first and goal situation. I, they, I like press cover. They're going jump ball. And... Whoa! Kyle Terry Mosses. They're number one. I don't even know who that is. It's probably they're not the number one. But Kyle Terry with a jump ball to put us within four points of the Bengals. And that's a that's a big swing. That's 14 points unanswered after they scored 21 unanswered. So we're we're trying to do anything to keep them close. What a great catch by Kyle Terry. You know, you guys saw I did halfback stretch. I'm like, okay, we'll just run a halfback stretch. It might be a touchdown. And then I think they got press coverage. And what you do with press coverage in the, goal, in the end zone is you do a fade and just have it be a jump ball. That's what they do with T. Higgins a lot in real life, Bengals. And we tried it, and it worked. And Higgins drops it. Christian Gonzalez knocks it out. I guess we got enough pressure. I'm past committing on second and ten. Burrow takes the snap. And once again, it's a check down. Again, dude. They love their check downs. All right, we're doing pass committing. Pinching the, pitching the line. That's not a pass commit, dude. What did he do that got Jamar Chase that open? Because I pass committed. Pass committed, not run committed. Why did Cordell Goodwin run that far down? And Burrow just chucks a dime to T. Higgins off his back foot because he broke a sack. Is That's not his ability. I don't know why he just did that. I mean, as soon as we get our momentum back, they're going to just take it with some stupid animation. Empty backfield for Burrow. Cordell Goodwin, animate, dude. If you animate, you have a chance. But no, you give up a touchdown. But Ramondre, 94 yards on 10 carries. And we're going to try a screen pass. We just got to get him downfield. Got it to him. Ramondre's got blocks. He's got a huge lane. And all the way down to 46. Ramondre Stevenson, some great play. Jeremiah Bullo's uncovers. I'm sending him on a streak. 
attention to him. Something just to stop the moment. What a dime to Taekwon Thornton. Off his back foot, he just chucks up a ble or a blessing, a prayer to Taekwon Thornton. He makes the catch. And Kyle Terry has a second touchdown. We run it right back up to the line, and Terry uses his elite route running and his Heisman level route running, by the way, to do a corner route, burn his man, and score another touchdown to once again put us within four of the Bengals. Yeah, at, Christian Gonzalez is one on one with him. He still lets up stuff. Well, we can't double him because they have more chase. That's why. That's like. Honestly, we're gonna we're gonna test something. We're gonna go cornerback matchups by route running. No, I, I want it by overall because that puts Gonzalez on. Because we Gonzalez on Higgins is clearly not working. So we got to try something. So we're gonna try Cordell Goodwin on Higgins. And here's our man coverage. Oh boy, here we go. Touchdown, Jamar Chase, dude. Trey Lance is not having himself a banner game, so. First time out, if we can get into field goal range, I consider it a win. Tyquan Thornton has press coverage. Dang it. I tried uh, lobbing it, like a touch pass downfield, but all, all it's going to work to Stevenson are screen passes and that wheel route. So, another screen pass. Alright, that gets us not even close to field goal range, so it's we try and do a quick check down. Lance going deep for Tyquan Thornton. He had him. Thornton had whoever 23 was torched. And Lance misses him. They ran man coverage on the Hail Mary. And Thornton used his speed to get past him. And it wasn't enough. We're going to be down by two scores, and the Bengals get the ball. This is not good. Colby Parkinson catches it for six. Yeah, three incompletions the entire game. That's going to be a perfect pass rating five of the season. Because we're not going to be able to turn the ball over. Whoa, I don't like this. Stop. Why you flip the play like that? They're passing here, Joe Burrow. <gasps> CJ Mosley picks off Joe Burrow. Throws it for Jamar Chase. I wasn't even trying to do that. But CJ Mosley gets behind it or something. I don't know what happened. But CJ Mosley read it. So I'll take it. And now. Oh, well. <laughs> Jordan Mailata, let's... I, I wonder how it's possible to get that, because that's like a really weird where they just run, like, just right around them. I think I need to stay in the pocket more before rolling back. For handing off Ramondre. Ramondre gets a block, runs a man over, and gets a first down. 111 yards. He's averaging over 10 yards per carry. Let's get him this touchdown. Or should we throw another fade? Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna give him his run. And there it is. We're back in the game again. Within four with the extra point. And Ramondre Stevenson has scored again. And I think with no Logan Wilson and their inside stuff, I'm running the ball. Stevenson throws a man off, but they can't block. You guys just have to block one guy. Fast and Furious reference? Great tackle by Amari Reynolds to not let Chase Brown break it off. And Siri's trying to activate on my watch again. We're running man coverage again. I don't know if I trust it though. So we're doing zone. They're going to hand off and Chase Brown, big play. 
I don't know what to do to get any pressure. Because Joe Burrow's had no pressure the entire game. They're moving the field over, or they're moving the pack over, I guess. Here's Burrow. And Christian Gonzalez picks off Burrow. Gonzalez down the sideline. He's got no one to catch him. And Christian Gonzalez with a pick six off of Joe Burrow. Burrow throws it right to Christian Gonzalez, trying to hit Chase upfield, but he wait, he threw it too early. Gonzalez was standing flat-footed, and you're going to throw it right to him. Look, he's flat-footed, and you throw it right to the guy for a pick six. That is ridiculous. I, I, Joe Burrow's been torching us. That's a stupid play. You do not throw that right there. And Lance is going to run it, and he's going to give us a three-point lead. And for the first time since we kicked the field goal, we are going to lead this game. And Burrow's last two drives have been interceptions, both trying to target Jamar Chase. First was by C.J. Mosley in zone coverage. That one was by Christian Gonzalez in man. And that was crazy. Oh, and he's torched now. Oh, wait. Oh, don't be roughing, please. Yep, it's roughing. Okay, they get an extra 15 yards. Dalvin Tomlinson, the guy who's basically covering for Jordan Davis. And now it's first and 10 from the way wrong side of the field. Parkinson catches it for four. And this is going to be a very high scoring game. I don't know if 10 second or 10 minute quarter is going to work out. We need to try a couple games with it, obviously. But I don't know. It's looking like high scoring affairs. No, if Jadeveon Clowney reacts to the throw, he's got a pick. Higgins has 152 yards, two touchdowns. Stanley's man cut, manned up on. Oh, I'm, it's like if I press cover them, they're going to have a huge play. But if I leave it there, they're going to have check downs the entire time. So it's just pick your poison, you know. How do I want to lose? Chris Stanley picks it off. He read, I read it perfectly with Stanley. And Stanley trying to outrun Jamar Chase. And Chris Stanley has a pick six. Three straight drives with a pick. C.J. Mosley. Then it was Christian Gonzalez for a touchdown. And now it's Chris Stanley going the length of the field with a touchdown. And they're looking for the fullback, Kari Blassengate, I believe is who that is. And Stanley makes the catch and returns it all the way down the field. And this ain't the sliders. This is just my team playing their hearts out. I'm playing my heart out. I have a user pick now that went for a touchdown. And I, I, I put on Stanley because I like to use the guy, one of the guys in the backfield. And that was the first time, I think, where I didn't just immediately jump and try to push the quarterback. And I actually read the running back because I saw him go out for a pass. And I'm like, okay, I got this. Oh, that's a huge hit by Boogie Bash. And I read it perfectly and took it back to the house. Burrow has fallen off a cliff in the second half. Three picks. And that is horrible for Joe Burrow, as Jamar Chase is going in more of a tight end formation. Oh, that was almost another pick. Great play by uh, Reynolds to knock him out. I almost react too much to this ball. But, yeah, they, they were up by three, or by five, before this the start of the second half. And now, or in the second half, I guess since their first drive they scored. And now they are losing by 10. A crazy 15 point swing. Not even 15, 20. But yeah, 15. Hold up. Oh, there's a touchdown for Higgins. Goodwin just got put on the dirt. And it's a touchdown for T. And they're still losing. That's the crazy part. Ramondre over a thousand yards on the year now, and another touchdown. He scored the touchdown. What at the end of the half? I don't remember when he scored. He scored a touchdown. 
basically all you have to know. We're going to send a streak for Thornton, see if he can torch this man. Kyle Terry with his elite route running, only going to gain two, but it's still a gain. It's not a sack. They have a lot of ton of rushing yards, but they've also allowed a ton of passing yards. Let's not do that right now, but there is that possibility as people can get self-satisfied. The greats do not... We're going deep for Tyquan Thornton. Oh, and he ran out of bounds. He does that weird animation, which I know it's an animation. Like, it's not actually going to happen, but... If he did that one animation where, like, they do that weird sideline grab, it'd be a catch, but... It's okay. Lance going to run it himself. Get down. First down. And what a game by Trey Lance coming in as the backup. Really, he's the third string at the moment. Hales is out with an injury. Uh, now Hooker got out with an injury. As what a juke by Ramondre to send two people flying. Put us within two minutes in the third quarter. And what a what just a great game by Trey Lance. He started four for 11. As Stevenson runs a man over. Yeah, Lance started four for 11. And I think he's 14 for 25. Meaning he has come made most of his throws since that infamous point in time. Infamous point in time. What am I saying, man? Stevenson's going to get stuffed that time. He still gains a yard. But, and he's still almost at 10 yards per carry. So just a crazy uh, performance by Ramondre. Second and nine. Takes the snap. And I had to throw it. I should have gone underneath for Terry, probably. There was one guy covering two people, but couldn't get it out in time anyway. Third and nine. Lance takes the snap. They shade inside, and Lance has open field. Trey Lance down inside the 10, down to the nine. 71 yards for Trey Lance on four rushes, along with the two-point conversion. And... Mario Douglas is wide open right now, but we're going to go to the fourth because I didn't notice how much time was left on the clock. What a game. 228 passing yards, 220 rushing yards. They have 425 passing yards. That is ridiculous gameplay right now. Mario Douglas wide open. We put a streak. And I didn't even mean to throw that. I clicked A instead of the right trigger. Whoops. That would have been a pick, probably. They're running a lot of pass plays. I feel like running is our best option right now. I would not have been able to run it myself. Some of these, uh, like, news or talking in or talking parts are just bad. Like he should have ran it himself when there was a guy right in front of him. All right, big third down here. We're going Zig. Hits Terry. Terry inside the five. I think we go for this. They're going to probably say kick it, but this could ice the game, basically. Big play right here. Fourth and goal. Lance fires. Ramondre diving catch for a touchdown. What a grab by the running back out of the backfield, celebrating with Trey Lance, and a beautiful, beautiful touchdown drive. Look at that throw, on the run, man in his face. Ramondre dives and makes the catch. As I don't know why y'all have your abilities enabled. You do not deserve it. Oh, dude, you are so lucky, Tyler Boyd. Actually, you're so lucky, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow should have thrown a kick there. Second and seven. Second and seven. Down by ten. You've got to expect a pass here. I get they have a ton of time right now. But I don't think that's enough time. You need to still be playing hard. Not just waiting and running the ball out. I'd be completely fine if you kept running the ball, but I know you're not going to. We're pinching a little bit. Whoa, Chase Brown takes a horrible route, gains one yard, runs right into C.J. Mosley, and then Kyle Duggar comes off to finish him. And now, second and nine. 
Cordell Goodwin can't get Tyler Boyd before he makes the catch. Big gain. And, man, they're going to have three receivers over 100 yards in this rate. We are not. We're going to have picks. And Cordell Goodwin mosses T. Higgins for the fourth pick of the game for Joe Burrow. Burrow chucks it, and Cordell Goodwin goes up and gets it. He must have thought it was for him. I mean, that was not even close. Great play by Logan Thomas to stop Ramondre in the backfield. Ramondre two away from 150 on the ground alone. Oh my gosh. At least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. Kyle Terry gained seven, or eight actually, because he lost the yard. 108 yards, he needed 150. I mean, we might be able to squeeze it into him. I'm going to look at Bullo first, though. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. Oh, where are you throwing, Trey? I tried throwing it to RB, and he was running up field, and Logan Wilson picks it off. Got the ball right to him. And they get the ball back. Oh, my gosh. T. Higgins has a touchdown. A crazy one-handed catch on a bad throw by Burrow. And they capitalize off our pick and score a touchdown. I'm so glad there's so many halfback stretch plays because that's the play that's been working for us. Oh, Stevenson breaks a tackle, and Bolo doesn't go upfield to block, but Stevenson over 150 after the six yards he just gained on that play. They want us to keep passing the ball, and I'm like, I don't know why you want that. It's four verts right now. Ramondre got hit, so I'm just going to run it with Lance. 79 yards, that's a late hit out of bounds, but they're not going to call it because the animation too was... That's just because the anim... I mean, as long as he doesn't get hurt on those plays, I'm fine with it. But, like, I don't want Lance to, like, break his leg. We're going to go screen to Terry. He breaks a tackle, gains four. I mean, if Terry's just going to keep catching these, I'm fine with it. He wants to run read option. If Trey Hendrickson... Trey Hendrickson bites. It's a big play potential. No blocks. Game three. Or actually might have been one. I don't know. Big, big play right here. Third, third and three. If you can block Logan Wilson, we have a first down. We're handing it off. Ramondre gets the first. Trey Hendrickson's hurt. Now we're going to start chewing clock. Hendrickson getting brought to the locker room. And if we run to the opposite side of Logan Wilson, he can't get the inside stuff animations as quickly to get to us. Stevenson, big run. First down. Just run the clock out, Ramondre. We can continue this streak of good games. Okay, I'm just going to block Bolo. Oh, roughing the passer. Game over. You just lost the game because of that. Devin Harper in for the injured. Uh, Trey Hendrickson hits Trey Lance, and we're gonna they're gonna lose the game off of that. Most likely, at least. What a cutback by Ramondre to even gain anything. They're gonna take it to the two-minute warning. And two-minute warning. A first down, hypothetically, ends it. We're also in field goal range. But with the game this close, anything matter, everything matters. Every single yard. And that's why we're just going to keep handing it off. Ramondre Stevenson. Come on, buddy. Ramondre gains six. One yard for the first. We're doing a zig for, Do or for Terry. First down. He gets out of bounds. That's not the end of the world. It's a first down. We get more plays. 
a clutch catch by Kyle Terry, 118 yards on 10 receptions. His breakout game, it's not the 150 that he wanted, but it's enough. First down, or not a first down, that was first down. But first and goal, now this is second and goal. Lance takes the snap, hands it off, Ramondre into the end zone for a touchdown. That's the game. I, I'm gonna change a lot of a lot of uh, sliders. And my guess is that a ton of sliders can be changed here. Chase goes down. They're gonna have to run. Hurry up. Gotta hurry. Oh, we're gonna get a roughing call. Is it Tyree Wilson? Rob Davis, okay. Rob, you're lucky you're even getting touches. First and 10. Up by 10. And CJ Mosley ends the game. Firing for Andrews. Mosley gets his second pick of the game. Burrow has thrown five interceptions. And a crazy finish to a crazy game. Our only turnover was that really bad play in which I was just trying to throw it to Douglas and he went upfield and was just a lob to Logan Wilson. And that was, I mean, that's what happens when you play perfect, I guess. You just saw me play a almost, almost perfect game on offense. One bad play by Trey Lance. Otherwise, we played practically perfect. And just like that, with that snap, we are going to win the game. I guess we, we'll punt it deep just to give him a chance to get another score. I'm not kicking it until there's like two seconds left. We just made the home crowd really happy. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get we're going to give him one. Team. We're going to punt it. Now, Lane Shipley hits it very high and deep. And you're going to you're going to fair catch it. You're going to fair catch to end the game. That's hilarious. And wow, what a game. This has been an amazing season so far. A bunch of close shootouts. We take down Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Hendon Hooker's celebrating. Dude, you were hurt, man. You were hurt. Let's look at the stats. Joe Burrow, 31 for 40, five touchdowns, five interceptions. That is ridiculous. Lance, 19 for 35, three touchdowns and a pick. Hendon Hooker had one completion for 30 yards. Rushing, it was Ramondre Stevenson. 80, 184 yards and three touchdowns. Lance had 79 yards. Chase Brown had 79 yards, two touchdowns. Mixon had 17 yards. Uh, Kyle Terry, 118 yards and two touchdowns. Three drops, but 10 catches. That's insane. Stevenson, seven catches for 101 yards and a touchdown. Thornton, a catch for 31 yards. Douglas, a catch for six yards. Bolo, a catch for 13 yards. Uh, you guys don't need to see that. Total tackles. Amari Reynolds, eight tackles. Cordell Goodwin and Christian Gonzalez, seven tackles each. Jalen Petrie and Kyle Duggar each had five tackles. Zero TFL, zero sacks. Great game, guys. Two picks by Mosley, one by Goodwin, one by Stanley, one by Gonzalez. A pass deflection by Stanley, no forced fumbles, and then the two clutch pick sixes. 88 yards for Stanley, 48 yards for Gonzalez, and a, just a great finish to an amazing shootout of a game. And if you look at that score summary look at that right side we were down by 10 until we took the lead on a pick i believe no that was our drive and that put us at 65 or 45 or something like that and we just kept kept uh throwing punches and they just couldn't stop so yeah a ridiculous game i'm gonna need to change something then all right so a crazy crazy shootout of the game chris stanley gets an upgrade as he should, pick six off of Joe Burrow. That's a crazy feat in itself. Chris Buchanan gets an upgrade. Okay, pass block. 
Pericles. Our entire line is just des designed to run. Christian Gonzalez gets an upgrade for a pick six. He's an 85 overall now. That should give him another ability slot. So what, what should we put on him? He's currently got Chuck out. I like Acrobat. Acrobat's a, a very good one. It used to be overpowered, too. You could get, like, insane plays. Um, I feel like we should give him outside shade and inside shade. So whenever we get in man coverage, they get better reaction. And then for this one, we'll give him, because these are both man coverage, so we'll give him mid zone KO. We'll keep him on mid zone KO. Ramondre Stevenson, what a player. I love Ramondre Stevenson so much. He's an 88 overall. He plays like a 99. Just look at those attributes. Terrible pass blocker. 70. Three catching, and he made that diving catch in the back of the end zone. The former offensive player of the year, by the way, that's what he won. That's what the award winner tags for. Um, yeah, tandem breakout didn't pan out. Uh, what a game! Breakout defensive back. I don't even know which one that would be. Cordell Goodwin or anything. But do we get our players back from IR? Can we bring them off IR? No, they can't return yet. So, yeah, obviously five big names. Tidy Sal, he's probably going to be a backup now. Chris Thomas, he's out for the season. So these three can hopefully come back sooner rather than later. I don't know when they're allowed to return. So, yeah. I am going to make some gameplay slider changes. But uh, I, these are what they look like right now. Obviously very hard to play with so i'm gonna try and get one i'm gonna try and find some that are good and i will show them to you next episode i'll find those in between episodes but anyways guys if you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe you can look at ramondre St stevenson winning afc offensive player of the week for the second time this year same amount of times kyle duggars won it no kyle duggars won it three times never mind but I'll, I'll, I'll just finish off the episode by showing you who is leading in the two awards that we care about. MVP, number five, you already know. Coach of the year. Oh, come on, you're putting us at eight? We've been in amazing. And then there we go, offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year. We've got two of them on here. We got, no, we got three of them on here. Offensive rookie of the year. Kyle Terry, the former Heisman, breaking out in the NFL. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Chris Wade's actually on here. That's impressive. Best quarterback? Yeah, pff, we don't need a quarterback. Best running back is us. Best wide receiver? <laughs> T. Higgins. Uh, I'm sad. I'm very, very sad. Uh, three Bengals are on there, by the way. Best O-lineman? Yeah, we're not going to have any of those. Best D-lineman? Yeah. Uh, Tyree Wilson's on here, actually. Best linebacker? Clowny. Is it even a question? Best DB. He's getting Superstar X Factor at this rate. But Christian Gonzalez is also on here. And best kicker. Come on, dude. Owen, what has Owen Foster got to do to win? Or what has my team's kicker got to do to win best kicker? Because Chad Ryland didn't get it last year either. Yeah, we have the 32nd passer. But number one rusher. I mean, Kyle Terry's game was crazy. He's also our best receiver. Okay. Okay, I see. Oh my gosh, that's just absurd. But hopefully next week, hopefully, I say hopefully because we have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, Jalen Waddle and Jameson Williams are going to be healthy. But yeah, so I'll figure out those sliders, hopefully make it a little bit more balanced. And I will catch you guys next time.